Hey, this is Vince Omega, and today I'm going to do a short little introduction to AVI Synth. AVI Synth, as I explained in my earlier videos, is the um, is a scripting language that uh, that you can actually use with Virtual Dub to edit your videos. It's pretty powerful, and it's only limited to the skill of the user. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do picture in picture using AVI Synth. Uh, what you believe that AVI Synth is actually Basically, the picture-in-picture -picture script is only four lines. Um, it's pretty insane, isn't it? But yeah, um, you can do picture-in-picture -picture using AVI Synth. Um, I define three variables: clip one, clip two, and insert. You use three functions: AVI source, um, by cubic resize and layer. If you need to read about them, you just happen to go over to avisynth.org. You either click on internal fi filters our API Synth manual and they will basically explain the three functions to you uh, using API source API source loads the video into your scripting language um, you have to use an absolute file path that means you define the, the hard disk and the um, various subfolders that the file is in all the way until you get to the very file itself um, as you can see, I appended it with convert to YUY2 because I didn't want to use the RGB um, default standard because then I had to use two more arguments for layer in regards to transparency, and I didn't want to do that. Um, on the third line, I used by cubic resize, I appended the clip 2, which I have. Um, insert pointing to essentially by cubic resizes uses about eight arguments the first two arguments defines the size of the container the size of the container that the video was in um, the next two values 0 and 7 point I mean 0 0.75 are called B and C. You want to leave B at 0 and C at 7.5 because according to abisynth.org, those are the that ratio is the most pleasing to human eyes. So you probably want to take their word for it and do it like that anyway. Uh, because it essentially controls the pixel by pixel ratio. Um, the next four values, this controls the top uh, this controls the left and top positionings of the video inside the frame um, you can essentially move the video all the way to the left in the frame if I save this and reload this oh and by the way in order to actually get the script into virtual dub you want to hit open file and you want to look for a file that ends in AVS those are your AVI set files it loads it up just like a video too. But anyway, positive values move it to uh, either the left or up. Negative values move it to the right and or to the bottom. You generally want to leave these at zero unless you're zooming in. The last two values control the width and height, the width, the width and height of the video. You want to leave them the same size as the video themselves unless you want to zoom in. Then you make them smaller, of course. And that's when the left, the left and top uh, arguments come into play. They actually help you zoom into the particular portion of the video that you want zoomed in to. To see an example of it, just look through my videos. Uh, just look for the Dungeon Fighter Special videos and look for the video that pertains to the nauseous glitch. Um, that's the only video I did picture in picture when using AVI Synth. Or at least using the. At least using AVI Synth and doing picture in picture manually. I did picture in picture in some other PvP videos, but I happened to use some virtual dub, virtual dub pre made filters for that instead. Um, in any event, it doesn't matter what you use to do picture in picture, but I'm just showing you how to do it in AVI Synth. It's a lot easier in AVI Synth actually. Um, in the last line, I use the function called layer. You want to return this. Clip one is the base. Insert, which is pointing to clip two, is the one that's being added. Being merged to clip one, I mean. 
The third argument defines how both of those emerge. You can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, you can use fast foreigner, and you can use light in the dark. And light in the dark and uh, refers to the, both the op peak and the translucent values of the video. And by op peak and translucent, I mean the transparency of the video themselves. The last two values are the X, well, the last two values without using RGB. Uh, using Y2Y, there are actually two more values, but you can actually look at ABI Synth and determine what they are for yourself. Uh, the last two values control the X and Y axis position of the particular um, particular container for that video. I'll show you what I mean in a minute by deleting a value and subtracting 200 from it. This should take me near the very top. Okay, not the very top. I'm actually in the middle, but you get the point, essentially. Editing that will allow you to move the video over to any position you want. But that's that. That's a short little um, introduction to ABI Synth. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, there's ABI Synth's not limited to doing simple things like picture in picture. Um, like for example, even use, just using this picture and picture, picture method, you could probably do a colleague of videos um, using the main video as a blank black video and just just uh, basically inserting video on top of video on top of video. Um, but I'll probably do that in a later video and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this. This is Vince Omega and I'm signing off.